Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel. In today's video, I like to share on the topic cell culture. Cell culture is the process of growing and maintaining cells outside of their natural environment in a controlled laboratory setting. It is a vital technique used in many fields of science, including biology, medicine, and biotechnology. The first successful cell culture was conducted in 1907 by Ross Harrison, who was able to grow frog nerve cells outside of their natural environment. Since then, cell culture techniques have advanced significantly, allowing scientists to grow a wide range of cell types from many different organisms. The process of cell culture involves several steps, including cell isolation, cell growth, and cell maintenance. The first step involves isolating the cells from their natural environment and transferring them into a laboratory setting. This can be achieved by extracting cells from tissue samples or by using established cell lines that have been previously cultured and stored. Once the cells have been isolated, they are grown in a culture vessel, which provides a nutrient-rich environment that supports cell growth. Culture vessels can range from small petri dishes to large bioreactors, depending on the number and type of cells being cultured. The culture medium, which contains essential nutrients, growth factors, and other supplements, is carefully formulated to support the specific needs of the cells being grown. As the cells grow and divide, they need to be maintained and monitored regularly to ensure their health and viability. This involves regular feeding and cleaning of the culture vessel, as well as monitoring the cell growth rate and any changes in cell behavior or morphology. Cell culture techniques have numerous applications in scientific research and medical practice. In research, cell culture is used to study cell behavior and function, as well as to test the effectiveness of new drugs and treatments. Cell culture is also used in the production of vaccines, biopharmaceuticals, and other medical products. However, there are some limitations and challenges associated with cell culture. For example, cells grown in culture may behave differently from cells in their natural environment, which can limit the relevance of the results obtained from cell culture experiments. Additionally, contamination and cell death can be common issues in cell culture, which can affect the quality of the cells being grown and the results obtained from experiments. In conclusion, cell culture is a valuable tool in scientific research and medical practice that allows scientists to study and manipulate cells outside of their natural environment. Despite its limitations and challenges, cell culture techniques have advanced significantly over the past century and will continue to play a critical role in advancing our understanding of cellular biology and disease.